I am Dr. Vijay Kumar Reddy, Dr. Sanjeev Kumar, Nirmala and Mr. Moinuddin. This patient, 50 year old gentleman with unstable angina, he came to us, we did angiogram, it shows single vessel disease, osteal 95% tight stenosis. And he is a non-smoker, non-diabetic, non-hypertensive. We have planned for angioplasty of the osteal LAD. Under fluoro guidance, we are putting a 7 French sheath into the right femoral artery. Patient is adequately given antiplatelet drugs. He was given 100 units per kg of intravenous unfractured heparin. Now we are taking 7 French uh, XB3 guide catheter. Now we are taking LAO caudal view, which shows a 90 percent osteal stenosis in the osteal LAD. Now we are taking AP caudal view. The angle is wide angle, it is a 4 millimeters vessel. Osteal LAD is a subset, is one subset which requires a lot of debates. There are a lot of trials regarding Osteal LAD, Rita, Bari, East trials, they are showing CABG versus PTCA. Now, with the new drug eluting stents, Everlimus and Jutalimus stent, when the there is a ideal anatomy is there, Osteal LAD stenting which gives uh, good results when compared to CABG and the long term 5 year event rate is equal when compared to CABG with PTCA. Now, we have put one wire in LCX. Now, we are advancing one more wire into the LED. Now, we are passing the wire the wire has crossed the lesion, passing 2.5 into 10 Tajuna balloon for pre dilatation. Now, we are passing the balloon into the LAD. Now, we are checking the position of the balloon in the LAD. Now, we are inflating the balloon up to 10. 10 atmospheres. Check chart shows there is no dissection, lesion has opened significantly, but there is a still a residual lesion. It is 4 into 18 serolimus coated drug eluting stent. We are putting the proper this lesion. Now, the stent is in the guide catheter, passes into the LAD. Now, we are checking the stent position check chart shows we are checking the in another view it is yes deploy now we are deploying the stent 2 4 6 8 nominal 10, 11, 11, 11. At, uh, nominal pressure of 11 atmospheres that is a fully expanded stent we are inflating for 20 seconds post NTG shot. Good expansion, still there is some under expansion in the proximal portion because the osteal LED has got a more of a elastic fiber. So, the, ch the chance of re restronosis is very high in osteal LED. That is why we have to optimize this strength deployment by doing a post dilatation with high pressure non-compliant balloons. We have taken 4.5 into 12 non compliant balloon to optimize the proximal LAD stent. Now we are checking the position. 
the 4.5 billion up to 8 atmospheres. Hmm. Last shot after NTG. Now there is a good flow, well expanded stand. There is no dissection and TME3 flow. Good result. TME3 flow. Mm. Now I congratulate my team members, Dr. Sanjeev Kumar, Dr. Shamata, for doing excellent job in this uh, difficult case of Austria LAD stenting. Thank you. Sunshine. It's a sunshine.